Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I will be showing off my Game Boy console collection. I've been wanting to make this video for quite some time now, but I just never got around to actually doing it. So that's what we will be doing today. I have six different Game Boy consoles in my collection. I have every one of them except for the Game Boy Micro and the Game Boy Light. The reason I don't have the Game Boy Micro yet is because it is very expensive on eBay and I don't want to spend over $100 on a system that only plays Game Boy Advance games. But if I ever find it at a good price, then I'll pick it up. And a similar thing with the Game Boy Light. It was actually only released in Japan, um, but it is still very expensive on eBay. And so we will start off with release date order. Starting with the very first Game Boy. This is the original Game Boy that came out in 1989. This is also the largest out of all the Game Boys. Many people like to call this a brick just because it's so thick and bulky. I don't know if you can tell, this is actually a glass screen that I recently put on here. The previous screen was all scratched up. But I actually bought this um, on a website called Handheld Legend. I highly recommend this screen. I think it's probably the best one that I've seen online. I actually bought one off of Amazon a while back, but it just didn't look anything like the original, so this was the closest one. And this one takes four AA batteries. Next up, I have the Game Boy Pocket. This one was released in 1996. So it took some time before they came out with a, another model. This one is much smaller and thinner, as you can tell. This one also took two AAA batteries instead of four AA batteries. Next up, I have the Game Boy Color. This one was released in 1998. This is the Kiwi Green version. And this one took two AA batteries, just like the Game Boy Advance does. And next up we have the Game Boy Advance. This one was released in 2001. This is the Atomic Purple edition. Out of all the Game Boys, I actually think this is my favorite design. I like the shape of it. It's really nice in the hands. Next and last, I have the Game Boy Advance SP. You can find an unboxing video for this one on my channel. I got this one off of eBay for about 60 bucks. This is the silver edition. What's also nice about the Game Boy Advance and the Game Boy Advance SP is that it played all Game Boy games. And it also included, finally, a light. This one is actually a front light, which you can turn off and on by pressing the little button here. The first editions of the Game Boy Advance SP only had the front light, and then a few years later they came out with a backlight version, which was the AGS-101 model 
This here is the AGS-001. This one does feel nice in the hands, but after playing it for a while, especially if you have bigger hands, it can get a little irritating. And I also have this special edition Game Boy Advance SP. This is the NES Classic Edition. It came out with this system, including several NES titles ported to the Game Boy Advance, which included The Legend of Zelda, Super Mario Brothers, Metroid, and other games like that. I also like how they copied the controller look on the face of this here, with the red buttons. Anyways, that just about wraps up this video. Feel free to let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you are not, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new videos. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.